It is time. It is time. Let's do it, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Tuesday to each and every one of you here on our platforms, streaming from all over Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and anyone else that is joining us. I am Shay Forson, the president and co-founder, I should say. Uh, not president, Derek. What am I talking about? I am the co-founder of Digital Flow Solutions, VA 101, and of course, Forsen Consultants. Happy Tuesday. I am here to talk to you all about software systems, uh, virtual assistants, and how we utilize those individuals, whether they're individuals or systems, to take your business to the next level. Derek, go ahead and introduce yourself, sir. I'm going to dance real quick. You're terrible. Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank y'all so much for being here. We super, super appreciate it. You guys have a lot of choices of where you could be, but you chose to be here tonight, and we super appreciate that. So just like we do every every Tuesday, we get right down to business, and we show you guys how we do business, right? So if you didn't know it, Shay and I, we're not super, super, superstars. We are superstars, but we're not super, super, superstars. We're going to introduce you guys tonight who are the superstars of everything that we do. And that's what we talk about every Tuesday, right? Virtual assistance, right? So we're going to introduce you guys to our team. And probably even more importantly, we're going to explain to you guys how you can get your own team, whether that's one virtual assistant, two virtual assistants, or you want a team of 10 of them, right? Shay and I can only be so great, right? Because God has blessed Shay with a lot of ideas and me with a lot of ideas and a lot of things to get into business ideas, but guys, that stuff is useless if you have nobody to help you put it together. So we're going to explain to, to you guys tonight what's the core of everything we do, which is digitalflowsolutions.net, right? That's the best website and CRM system in the world that can completely run your business, right? But we're also going to talk about these virtual assistants and how they can change your life for $5 an hour. And the cheat code to that is that in terms of where we live at, guys, and where you live at in the U.S., it's only $5 an hour, which is super affordable for us. But where they live at, guys, it's the cheat code to their life because the minimum wage can be like 90 cents or a dollar an hour. And also, before I go too far, I just want to make sure that everybody is able to hear me. Check I'm going to do a real quick mic check. Yeah. Can check your audio I'm going to check, I'm, I'm, I'm check my audio settings as well. And yep, mine's off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Listen, guys, I'm going to fire the tech guy. This guy's trying to be the tech guy. Y'all know anything about us and our family. I'm not the tech guy. So she's actually talking about fire herself. No, it's supposed to be all about technical stuff. So really, she's talking about herself, guys. We were set up and ready to go. Well, who had their laptop plugged up tonight? Somebody did tell me that they were going to shoot some content. She won't be honest with y'all. But, 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 how many of you guys have been around us so long and know that I'm not the tech guy? So, when it comes to setting this up, y'all know that I just sit down and do my thing, right? But this team that we brought up. <laughs> so, that's what we do, guys. And again, thank y'all so much for being here. All y'all can see, man, we live and we just kind of give it to you how it comes to us, right? So, again, tonight is, we're talking about the best software system in the world, which is digitalflowsolutions.net. And we're also talking about um, the best virtual assistant that you can get anywhere from va101.co. So, my name is Derek First, and they let me be a part of this show on Tuesdays as well. But my job is to show y'all what I do on Tuesdays and how I get all of these ideas. But make sure it is not delayed because we just killed it. So. It's, mm. about it. and that's the same problem as yesterday because because we are going to ask it yeah, there. I think it's a settings issue. Give me a second. We have a sound issues, guys, but it's just a minute here. I'm going to pause my camera and get you back to hear me there.
I'm going to do one more mic check real quick. Let me know if you guys can hear me now, Rita. I just changed something. Let me know if you can hear a difference now. And Shay, you may want to turn on that light where you are. But I'm, I'm doing another mic check just real quick. If somebody can let me know if they can hear me loud and clear or am I still not sounding clear? Can you guys hear me okay? Sounds good, Rita? Okay, good. So we'll do a mic check with Shay and then we'll get her to turn on that light where she's at. It's just going to be dark. <laughs> so, so we're good then. So Rita says I sound good. If one more person can tell me just to make sure. Because you guys probably didn't hear any of the intro, which is not super important, other than you, we're getting ready to explain to you guys how we use digitalflowsolutions.net. Perfect. Thanks, Janine. I appreciate that. So just in case for the new people that just came in, this is Tuesdays, right? So every Tuesday we talk about it. We answer all your concerns um, about Digital Flow Solutions, which is an all-in-one platform, right, to where you guys can run your business no matter what the business is. And we also talk about virtual assistants, meaning this is what what's on the screen right now. We're going to introduce you to our team in terms of what all involves our team and what do each individual do. And also, I'm hoping to spur some ideas. So if you're inside of that VA 101 private community on Telegram, I released a video today um, of a new AI tool that a lot of people are just not quite familiar with yet. I'm calling it Chat GPT on steroids. But it's a little bit different from Chat GPT in terms of Chat GPT is not, um, I'll say, um, connected to the internet. Whereas this tool that I released inside of the VA 101 group, and I talked about it in here, so it's no secret, but it's actually connected to the internet. So, you know, in the example that I gave it, that if I asked Chat GPT, who is Derek Forston at Forston Consultants? Chat GPT would have no clue who I am. But when I type that same phrase, into this newer system, it knew exactly who Derek Forston was and it knew exactly what we did, what we offer and things of that nature. So it was almost scary. So I'm calling it kind of the new wave of chat GPT. So if you're in one of those VA 101 private groups, just put a thumbs up in, in the chat if you either seen it or if you received it. I just want to make sure that you guys were able to see that. And then I'm going to give it back over to Shay to introduce herself. And Shay, you're much brighter now. Miss Shay? Yeah, I had to change to five different locations just to make sure that I was in the right place. But anyway, um, again, y'all, we, we were cutting up good and it was terribly sounding. But anyway, I'm Shay Forston, the co-founder of VA 101 and Digital Flow Solutions. And I am excited to be here with you all tonight. Like Derek said, that's what we are here to talk about. And that's giving you all the game on how we've taken all of our businesses and taken them to the next level by implementing um, softwares, and softwares and systems, as well as adding uh, virtual assistants to our repertoire, to our staffing model. By having our virtual assistants join our team, we're able to duplicate ourselves. We're able to um, expand our offerings by having those extra people to help us uh, divide the load, right? Um, so it's, it's better to do things in, in numbers, especially when you have uh, products and services such as us. Um, Derek talks about it all the time. One of his biggest things was we're going to do amazing things in this year because of those two key factors, and that is virtual assistance and systems and software. Having those systems and software, again, allows you to um, to really have a presence, whether it's a web, a web presence and a response, um, ability to, to implement uh, automations and workflows that keep your client or your, your person, your, your potential client engaged in your process and helping them to move along through your process smoothly, the same way every time, no matter who the client is, they have the same experience. And when you have a great, uh, when you have a great system set up or a great process set up, it causes your, your, your end user or your client to, to really navigate or feel, feel confident in the services that you provide as well as they enjoy the, the, the process as well, right? They don't feel frustrated. They don't feel flustered because they're not getting responses. They're not getting answers or they're not being communicated with well. So again, having software and systems and then having virtual assistants that can um, help you balance those things, make it so much better makes it so much better, makes business at ease, 
you know, it makes uh, gives you a little bit more ease of use when it comes to your business model and the and the product or service that you perform on a regular basis. So, Derek, let's talk a little bit about some of the things that we allow or or have our virtual assistants do for us on a daily basis. Because a lot of people I know get so uh, consumed in the fact that this is a remote worker, they're not a hundred percent sure of how to use the, utilize their skill set effectively. Can you give them some um, some tips on how we actually uh, utilize our team? Yeah, I'll start, Schaefer, from some of the core stuff. Um, and a lot of you guys, and I always say this, right, but a lot of you guys may be kind of like me where that if you didn't have somebody that kind of maintained your schedule to keep you on track, you may seem all over the place. And that's kind of what our team does for us. And that's what a virtual assistant can do for you all. So obviously, I've I've showed you guys Tara um, on this screen and Tara is our executive administrator. So even though Tara gives me my complete schedule for the day, it's just that reminds me 15 minutes and five minutes before each and every schedule. So Shay, before I get too deep into all of the automations and all of that deep stuff, I want to just start at the core Shay, that if I didn't have somebody that not only helped me keep track of my schedule, Shay, because Shay, I'm somebody that's already busy. But let me speak to the person that's looking to get busy. My virtual assistants, meaning Tara and Jess, can also fill my calendar. So no matter what I'm doing, I don't care if I'm a website developer, if I bake chocolate chip cookies, if I if I fry chicken, or if I'm a consultant, I need somebody to fill my calendar with potential um, customers because that's how business is ran, right? So for us, Shay, I'm also going to mix that with lead generation. So when Tara is being an executive administrator around us, this is kind of what it looks like, right? But when Tara's handling business for us on the outside, this is what it looks like. So as you can see, my team, again, because they do all of this stuff, Tara even built both of these PowerPoints. So again, this is the same person, but when Tara's handling business for us, because Tara's over all eight businesses that we have, and Tara is the liaison between us and any very, very important people or big companies that we work with. But when we're just doing everyday stuff, right, between us as a team, this is Tara laid back wearing the T-shirt, right? But when we have meetings and important things to do, and I say, hey, Tara, this is the day where we got to have our cameras on. This is what you're going to see her per se look like right here. And doesn't she look business? Put a thumbs up in the chat if she looks business. Also type the word yes if you could also use somebody to help keep track of your schedule. Also type the word yes in the chat if no matter what you do, you would love if you had a virtual assistant that served as a lead generation to drive business to you. Part of one of the businesses that we have, Shay, at VA 101 is sourcing virtual assistants for business owners, entrepreneurs, CEOs, churches, pastors, bishops, Anything that you can think of, anything like even mothers. I used to talk about this all the time. We got a lot of moms that come to us and say, Derek, I want to be able to just help me with the school teacher and all the activities that my son is involved in. Because Derek, I'm also busy. Derek, I got two jobs. And Derek, I'm also an entrepreneur. I'm trying to feed my three boys. And Derek, they're growing every day. Can you give me a Tara? Can you give me an executive administrator that'll help me keep track of my kids' homework? keep in contact with the school teachers and all of my meetings and help keep my calendar adjusted to what am I doing every day? Because Shay, I'm going to land my plane here. One of the greatest things that you guys can do as your, especially as a new person, Miss Rita, any of you new people that are just now getting these VAs, tie your VA to your calendar. And if you get digital flow solutions, which is what we're screaming all the time, like that's a no brainer to you because that's also where your calendar can be maintained at. Remember I talked about three minutes ago about digital flow solutions is this all in one platform that can not only do your social media, but handle your email campaigns and all of these other things. And also comes with the phone system and a text messaging service. So before I get too far, Shay, I want to just land my plan on your original question. One of the things that Shay changed my life and Shay, I'll admit, I used to get mad with people back in the day before I understood business. And when you ask somebody a question, they talk about, let me check my calendar. 
Katara, I thought that was the biggest hunk of junk I've ever heard in my life. Joanne, I was always like, man, you can't be that busy where every time we ask you something, you got to check your calendar. Janine, I had no idea that one day my life would be like that. And Janine, I'll be honest, day to day, I really don't know what I have to do. Things are scheduled for me as so far in advance that most weeks, every day of the week, my life, my time is already accounted for with some kind of appointment, some kind of speaking engagement, some kind of strategy call. But guess who would forget all of that stuff, Joanne, if I didn't have a virtual assistant? Joanne, just like you got one. Katara, just like you got one. Janine, just like you have one. Most of y'all in this room have caught on to this VA thing, and it's the cheat code. So if you're new to us, forgive my enthusiasm, but this is what makes us excited because, again, God made me a thought leader. Guys, I come up with a thousand ideas a minute, but I'll be honest. I'm honest enough to tell y'all I can't put half of them together. But with the Tara, who's at the lead of all of our team, it's easy for me to say, guys, I had a dream last night. And I think we should do this, 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 and this. And it should probably go like this and this and this. Now, team, I have no clue how to put it together. And guys, this is usually on a Monday or Thursday for us. This is when Shay and I like to have our meetings. Now, that's just us. And that's personal preference to me and Shay. A lot of our meetings go down on a Monday and a Thursday. And watch this as I land my plane. Most of the meetings now today versus way when we started, most of the meetings now go to Tara. Me, Shay, Tara, and, and probably Jess. After that, everything is delegated. And then sometimes it's where we all are meeting together. And see how I'm giving y'all my style? This is how we do it. Ken, on Mondays and Thursdays, Rita, we all meet together. But every other day other than that, Tara, brrr, Tara, brrr, Tara, fix this. Brrr, Tara, check on this and this and this. Brrr, and so many of y'all have been used to us saying that we got eight different businesses, but guess what? I've been saying this for three weeks and Tara going to finally pull the plug on it. Tara's told us to shut down one of these businesses already. Why would she tell me that? Because she's the executive administrator. She lives 12 hours away from us in a different time zone in a different country, but is running businesses for us, guys. If you don't know this, what I'm trying to tell y'all today, this is the cheat code to your life and business. Having virtual assistants and a software system that can run it all. And Shay, I'll land my plane there. I also think having the, the open uh, and honest dialogue between our virtual assistants is what helps us to keep things very consistent across the board, right? Um, and, and gives us that opportunity to allow someone like Tara to speak into our businesses, right? If one's not doing so well, or if she feels that we're not uh, steward in it, not even stewardship at that point, but we're, yeah, it's stewardship. We're not putting our hands to it. She'll say, Hey guys, is either we going to let go of this one or are we going to, you know, just lay, let it lay low for a minute until we get to that point of wanting to revive it. Um, I think having those individuals that can speak into your life, um, that can partner with you. We don't see our virtual assistants as employees. We see them as business partners because ultimately a virtual assistant is just that they are an entrepreneur. That, that was a gem. Can you repeat that? You don't see them as what? I don't see our virtual assistants as, as, as staff. They're not our staff, right? They're our business partners. Okay. We are collaborating with a contractor who has their own business and that's being a virtual assistant. They're just allowing us to utilize or contract out their services, right? And their skill set. And with that, we allow them to be the expert in their field of expertise. And we are the ones that help guide them to kind of know how to navigate what we do and how what, what, what services we provide in order for them to help us take our business to the next level. So when it comes to our virtual assistants, um, prime example, Tara, if, if I had to put like a real, you say that she's our, our what, what did you say? She's our executive administrator. I wouldn't give her that title. I would give her like she's our business coach oversight, right? Our virtual assistant coach. She teaches us how to adequately and accurately utilize the skill sets of all of our virtual assistants, of all of our virtual assistants in every 
particular business, whatever business they're in alignment with or they're working for, she makes sure that we have the they, they have the appropriate skill set to help us get a return or to get an outcome out of what they're going to be doing. So she's like the virtual assistant consultant right so she helps and she consults on making sure that we have the right person with the right skill sets and that they are able to produce what we're looking for in outcomes and that's just by even guiding us hey i think this is not working well let's maneuver some staff because this is top heavy or we're doing too much over here and we need to pay attention over here she's actually helping us um she's our liaison between vas yep. you know and and without her being that oversight, it's me and Derek being stretched in more so worrying about are our virtual assistants truly providing or supplying us with the outcomes that we are paying them to provide us and supply us with. So now with having Tara on board, we don't have to look at that or we don't have to look at it as consistently as we would have if we did not have somebody with the skill set or the expertise as Tara does. Um, that's one way to put it, right? Um, know what your virtual assistant is good at. Know what they are able to provide to your entity or, or the things that you are unable to do, whether it's um, you're not techie or you have limited time in order, limited time available in a day to do certain tasks, i.e. cold calling, right? Who works a, a, a nine to five and has the time while they're on their nine to five to be consistently making calls, right? When you can have somebody that you can pour into and tell them what your expectations are, give them what they need to fulfill those expectations and then they go out and do it, i.e. a phone script or, or just a, a understanding of your business to, to pitch, right? And then they go out and do it for you and they start scheduling appointments for you to now go to, to where, like Derek said before, have your schedule integrated into digital flow solutions. And now they're setting you up to where you can now take PTO days so that you can go handle your business, right? But it didn't take you having to be on the phone, double, t double teaming your nine to five and, you know, these cold calls to get your foot in a door somewhere. So again, it's knowing that these are your strategic business partners. You all are working collectively. You are collaborating to meet an end goal or an outcome. And with that, you both have the same buy-in. You're both looking for the same successes and the same outcomes. And that's just, that's honestly just a match made in heaven. And when you find the when you find the right virtual assistant, and I tell anybody, VA one hundred and one has been amazing for me. Um, I've had to be patient in some situations where I've looked for a specific virtual assistant to meet a need that is unique to my business or my nonprofit, and that's what's happened. May it, you know, patience is a virtue, but if you're patient, you will get the person or the quality of virtual assistant that you are looking for when you utilize the team at VA 101. So I'm, I'm excited to talk more about virtual assistants and Derek, let's, let's talk about how you partner with your virtual assistants. I also love that shape, but I want two people to type in the chat, literally something that you said, cause that's. Even though you said a lot, I'll admit, when you said this one phrase, everything else to me was like, womp, 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 because it was such a gem. Can I get two people to type this in the chat? Don't view your virtual assistant as an employee, but a strategic business partner. That's almost a, a T-shirt. And Shay was so genius, she broke it down in a second way to tell you that because they're also business owners being a freelance so-called virtual assistant. That's yeah. being their own business, guys. They're not going to a brick and mortar business working to somebody at a phone company. They're working yep. for you. So they're also an entrepreneur, so to speak. So I love that. If I can get two people to type that phrase in the chat, I would really appreciate that. Type in the chat that don't view your virtual assistant as an employee, but instead view them as a strategic business partner and that leads into the next topic and that's why Shay's so genius because guess what Shay became for me I mean Jess became for me Jess now runs second chance housing yeah so most of you that have joined us tonight y'all know me mostly for housing the homeless and the displaced and teaching it 
guys, 14 months ago, I trained a young lady named Jess that lives in the Philippines that at the time started at $3 an hour. Now, her income has gone up since then, but Jess started with us for $3 an hour and is running second chance housing, something that God and I built. See, the biggest problem for some of y'all, and y'all going to release that tonight in the name of Jesus, you got a hard time letting go something that you built. But real business is not you always working in it with your hands in it. Real business is starting something that God has put in your heart. You get it up to where you got it and now turn it and release it to somebody else that can run it and possibly make it better than you. Jess can answer the phone all day. Guys, I can't. Jess and my team can do the social media every day. I can't. And guess who's also filling up my calendar, just like I told you guys nine minutes and 13 seconds ago, that my calendar is being filled every day for me to go speak at some hospital or somewhere to talk about who we are and what we do. God, that's, that's real business. And when I learned that from my coach not long ago, Derek, you can't be a one-band show. Derek, you can't do everything. Derek, you can't play the saxophone, the guitar, and the piano, bro. Come on, man, and be the lead singer. You look like a dat gun fool. Katara, can you imagine me wearing a microphone in my lip, trying to play the guitar, the saxophone, the harmonica, and the piano? Miss Angela, I look like a dat gun fool trying to do that. So God has blessed me, man, that God has allowed me to allow some. Watch this, y'all. We changing the lives of other people that where they live at, the minimum wage is like 90 cents an hour, $1 an hour. And just like I told you earlier, when we're hanging around together in our personal groups on Mondays and Thursdays, when we're meeting with our team, this is Jess right here. But when Jess is representing Second Chance Housing and putting me on other people's schedule, this is what it looks like and sounds like. See how it goes from the T-shirt shade to that business jacket? It's completely different. And this is the Jess that is calling hospital saying, Brr. hello, good morning. May I speak to the uh, director of social work? Great. Um, good morning. How you doing, Miss uh Miss Michelle? My name is Jess, and I'm calling from Second Chance Housing. I would love to know when your next opportunity for our thought leader, Mr. Derek and Miss Shea, when they can stop by your hospital to speak to you and your social workers to talk about how we're changing lives in the community. You let me know when's a great day, and we're gonna arrange coffee and donuts to be delivered. And Mr. Derek and Shea will be there at 11 a.m. And don't worry, I'm gonna remind Derek so he that does so that he doesn't forget. Guys, that's what Jess is doing for me five days a week, which is allowing Shay and I to show up in hospitals and be great. Shay started this whole thing by asking you all, how am I partnering, Shay, with my virtual assistants? I just told y'all, God and I built Second Chance Housing. God allowed me to partner with him, first of all. All of this is partnership. Shay is so genius how she brought up all of this. All of this is partnership, y'all. God and I partnered. And then God said, oh, Derek, look like you got it, bro. And I partner with Jess. I'm changing Jess's life. And I don't say that lightly. Guys, the minimum wage there, guys, is like a dollar an hour. And, and they have to work seven days a week. Can you imagine what it sounds like now that, hey, come work for us, $5 an hour, and you only work five days a week from nine to five. Guys, I become a no-brainer in the Philippines. God has blessed Shay and I that. The Filipinos and Filipinas are screaming our name. Forced to consultants, go work for, for them. What a great company. Can you imagine how many people here in America want to work for Walmart and Chick-fil-A and, and Wells Fargo and Chase? That's how they're screaming our names in the Philippines. And guys, again, I'm going to land my plane because she asked me one question. I don't want to get two going on. it. This is how I'm partnering with my VA, uh, Shay. Jess is literally running second chance housing and Jess takes pride in taking people from homeless to hopeful because Jess does all the assessments now. In fact, watch this. Honest to God, Jess housed the guy today, thankfully because of Kenneth and Rita who found the need and because they're so great at what the HRA is, the housing referral model, they got that referral over to Jess and we're housing the guy now that'll be moving in in about five days because of Jess. Jess done the assessment. Jess made the phone call and Jess said, Derek, I think this guy's going to be a good guy for our program, Derek. But like always, Derek, you call him and you check him out too. But Derek, I'm about 98% sure this guy good to go. 
Can you imagine somebody running your housing program for you while you out still house, still trying to save the world in terms of housing? Last thing, Shane, you can have it. Guys, Jess allows me to be the hero in my community simply because Jess allows me to buy my time back. Jess allows me to go to more appointments, speak to more people, and house more people and look for more real estate because Jess is doing the building of the relationships now. Jess is calling all the social workers and the case managers explaining who we are and what we do. And again, in America, for five bucks an hour, that's hard to beat. But where Jess lives in the Philippines, guys, Jess is almost rich because of that. Being able to take vacations now, treat her children to things that she wasn't never able to do without working for an American. They don't want to work for a Filipino in the Philippines, guys. That's not their dream. Their dream is to get a job with some American lady or American guy to where they can make a good living at four, five, six, seven dollars an hour. And in VA 101, guys, that's where we get all of our VAs from. VA 101.co, not dot com. And for five dollars an hour, watch it change your life and your business. Miss Shay, back on you. Well said, sir. Um, but what we were, what I wanted to also touch base on was this, Derek, the fact that most people, when they hear us talk about virtual assistants, they get so excited and say, my staff, my staff, my staff, right? And you heard us talk briefly about, you know, virtual assistants being their own employer or, you know, having, being entrepreneurs themselves. What a lot of people get hemmed up on in regards to this is, well, what's my tax liability when it comes to a remote you know, someone working remotely um, for my organization. That's why we say they are not your staff. That's another reason why you don't provide them with their computer. You don't provide them with none of the tools that they need to actually do your business. They are, in fact, a freelancer, right? They are working for you. You do not have to do any withholding taxes or anything like that because you are technically outsourcing business. Um, your, excuse me, you're outsourcing your um, a task to someone outside of the U.S. and, and you know, outside of the USA. So, um, again, there's tax code behind that that identifies, you know, what will prompt someone to be considered a remote worker or a contractor, right, or a, a, a virtual contractor. So, again, you're not providing them with computers. You're not come uh, providing them with, you know, uh, a system like a stationary hardware, like anything that you can tangibly touch hardware that will also help determine that taxation on that virtual assistant and whether they are considered staff or a true contractor. So again, they are contractors. You do not need to put anything on that. They do all of their paperwork that they need to do when it comes to them receiving their paycheck. Remember, this is no different than Fiverr, right? If you hired somebody on Fiverr to work for you for six months, you've hired someone that works on a platform. You've sourced them with your idea and they're just creating the product or the, they're just returning to you whatever the, the workload is that you're asking them to do. So again, this is no different. It's just that this person is your fiver in your back pocket that you are consistently, um, you know, delivering funds to. So that's what that looks like. Look into your tax codes. Um, we have had virtual assistants for how many years now? Several. Um, and this, and our accountant, again, stated the same thing. So there are tax codes, their tax laws, and I'll get one, I'll get them for you. Um, no, you do not have to send them a 1099 because you are paying for a service, paying for goods or services. So when you all are utilizing your um, utilizing your payment processors, don't put down your pay, paying salary because you're not. They're not a salaried employee. They are, you are paying for a service that they are rendering to you. So I hope you heard that. Again, follow up with your accountant. Um, that may look different depending on if you are providing them or supplying them with certain things to, in order to get the job done. 
in order to get a job done. If they cannot complete the role with you without you sending them, shipping them a laptop that's encrypted or providing them with some type of system that you've had to physically uh, relocate to assist them in getting your task done, they are not an employee. They are a true, uh, not a 1099 contractor, but they are providing you a service, a remote service. All right. So Derek, let's do it. Where we at next? Where we going? Where we going? So if you don't see what's on the screen, which, what do you mean? Where are we going? You need to where talk we about going? partnership. <laughs> where so we you going? asked me about partnership earlier. I want to ask you now, right. how do you partner with mates per se with Mr. Latrell, who nobody's seen yet because he's now on our new slide because he's new to you. So introduce him. Yeah. So Latrell is the Angela Denise Foundation's um, virtual assistant who helps me by um you know, looking for grants, looking for opportunities for me to apply to grants. Um, and not only for me to apply to those grants, he will do it for me. Um, Latrell is also someone that will pick up the phone and start cold calling, um, you know, business part, potential business partners to help establish working relationships within my community. Um, like we said earlier, go ahead and have your virtual assistant um, make those cold calls so that you can then go and be the face of your entity, right? That you're not spending all that time on the phone um, trying to get on people's calendars. My Latrell does that for me. Um, he's a lead generation lead generation specialist as well as a grant um, a grant writer and a sourcer. So he looks for not like a sourcer, like blah, like that, but you know he sources and looks for grants. So. He is a amazing asset to the Angela Denise Foundation, and he allows me to be the hands and feet of my organization without having to be um, stuck behind a computer looking for these funding opportunities to uh, take my organization, well, not my organization, but take the Angela Denise Foundation to the next level by, by obtaining funds. Um, so that's what Luttrell does. Now, remember what I said too, Derek, about being patient. Now, Latrell didn't just fall in our lap and we, you know, we looked for this particular skill set or somebody that had the understanding or the expertise in grants and writing grants and being able to find grants that, that were rightly al aligned with. Um, it took several months to get Latrell after Jillian um, went to go sit the bar exam. So prime example, this is when you have to be patient, know what your needs are, know what you are looking for, just as if you were going on Fiverr, know what you are looking for, know the skill set you are, um, that you want to see this individual possess and be patient enough to find them and, and, and like be patient enough for for VA 101 to find them and not only find them what VA 101 is going to also do is they're going to vet them as well so prime example i don't have to be the one on fiverr try like me and derek did this y'all like we've been we've been the ones on different platforms trying to find someone to help us with the task that will be long term um and believe you me it it's quite interesting um, trying to sift through all of those people to see if they are who they really say they are and that they possess what they really, what they say they possess. Now with our team, they do all of that for us to where like when Latrell came on board, Tara made sure that he had proof. What grants did you go after? And what did Tara do? She, she called, Hey, you know, we've got a history of da, 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 da. Did this person blah, 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 blah. And and she got that yes or that no, right? So she was able to verify that this individual did meet the did meet the criteria and did possess the skills that they stated that they had in regards to grants. Um, and that to me was the biggest, biggest blessing. Like I did it for, I went on Fiverr. I paid somebody like $800 to, um, help me for three. It was like two months. I think it was Derek, if my memory serves me correct. No, it was a month for grants. 
um, to look for grants that were in alignment and also to apply for those grants. And when I tell you that was $800, that was completely and utterly wasted because those that individual only knew how to apply to the, the simple, small, not saying small as in number small, but very easy to uh, achieve grants. And that was through Walmart. They're one liners. I can do them myself in less than five minutes. What I was looking for was someone that would find me strategic partners in my community, in my area, and really make sure that we were in alignment and be able to send in that letter of intent that was able to, um, you know, cross off all the T's, dot the I's. If I needed to provide them with different documentation that they would know exactly, hey, Shay, you need this, 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 and this. Um, can you make sure you have it? I need a letter of blah, 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 blah. Like this person had no clue. And that was a month wasted and also $800 wasted because this individual did not bring me the outcomes and nor did I have an opportunity or ability to vet their skill set until I had them. To where now I was patient for two months. I allowed VA 101 to move forward in their process when I gave them the skill set that I was looking for and what my entity, what did the Angela Denise Foundation need in a virtual assistant that would be able to provide me grants or, or go after grants? It was all about, listen, Tara, I don't have the time to do it. I need somebody that can set up a meeting with me once or twice a week and say, hey, this is where we're at. This is what I need. Here is the deadline. Can you get it to me by the end of blah, blah, blah. And that's exactly what Jillian was and how Jillian operated. And that is exactly how Luttrell operates. But funny thing about it, guys, as much as I love Jillian to this day, Luttrell has a stronger skill set in grants than Jillian did. What made Jillian a great fit for the Angela Denise Foundation, Derek, was the fact that she had a Juris Doctorate degree and she loved to research. 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 Research is what made it very beneficial with that working collaboration between Jillian and I. But when but it I comes to... Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Shay, but I also want you to touch on, because I'm going to kind of tell on you in a little way, but I want you to turn it into a teacher. Don't moment. tell on me. Janine, you know I got to do it. Hey, Joanne, you know I got to do it. Don't tell on me. Hey, Shay, the reason I'm going to do it, because our whole life is built on maybe making mistakes or doing certain things and then figuring it and, out and then coming back yes. and teaching it to you all. So even though I'm getting ready to tell on Shay, Shay going to allow you guys to learn from it. Watch this. Yeah. All the great things that she's speaking about Latrell right now, Shay didn't tell you yet that the first two weeks, Latrell scared Shay like he wasn't going to make it. Shay, Shay almost lost patience. But yeah. the extra week that she gave him, because Shay just told y'all eight minutes and 13 seconds ago, this also takes patience. Takes patience. But watch this. Janine, Shay was getting ready to get rid of your boy. She's yeah. like, Derek, if this guy don't get it this week, and Janine, it's not that he wasn't getting it. It's just that, in my opinion, he wasn't Jillian. And he had yeah. to find his own way, Janine. Yes. Right? So now Shay, turn that into a teaching moment and take yeah. that back to how you <laughs> talked about being patient. Yeah. Because you could have let go somebody that seems like he's a gym now. That's excellent. Like, that's, that's excellent. So let me tell you, real, real talk, guys, like, I tell anybody this, and I, and I, when I coach people, when it comes to people, you know, in VA 101, that, that, you know, when I was hands-on 100% in the process of VA 101, it would always be, hey, um, be patient. Let, give you a virtual assistant time until it was my turn, right? I knew what I had, didn't know what I was getting. Um, initial, you know, the first week, it was, I'm one of these people, like when you come to work for me, I am very upfront. I am very um, forthcoming with the fact that, listen, I wear many hats. Um, I just got asked to do another to do outside of all of our business to do, right? That takes me away from being in front of my laptop. So you need to communicate with me often and do so via, you know, chat. Um, I'm going to give you the information that was left behind. Jillian left amazing. Like what Jillian left behind for Latrell was phenomenal. 
the handoff, oh, no, I couldn't ask for anything more. He had passwords to every one of the platforms for grants. He had all of the, the, the previous information of every grant that she's applied for, when they were due, what they what was the 2024 grant schedule she had all of this stuff like her last two weeks you guys i i didn't bother jillian i just said listen set me up for success this is you know and she loved the angela denise foundation so much that she did more than that so yeah. when this young man came into the angela denise foundation he was mind blown he says i have never taken over for anybody and it looked like this. I mean, when I say she left everything like to where he, he didn't need no help for nothing. Um, access to all the files, the passwords, the email addresses, um, cause she had to create uh, a specific email address for something. And, and she was kind of, you know, upset that she had to do that, but she left all of that information, made sure that the backup, everything that we needed to be done was done. But the issue was for me that I know I am, I know that I am, I'm very patient at times, but when it came to this, there was a list of things that I wanted to do. And I felt that he was unsure of himself. I felt that he was unsure if he could handle my management style. And that's where the disconnect came because during his interview process and during his first day, I kept repeating, listen, I'm leave, literally leaving you, a, I'm leaving you alone to a certain extent. I am, a, I'm always available. Don't think that I won't make myself available. But what happens is when you feel he was insecure initially, I think on his own skill set and being left alone. Um, long story short, when we did sit down and discuss this whole ordeal, his, 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 words were i've never had to really fend for myself in the way that you allow me the freedom to do so so he was very cautious and his cautiousness frustrated me i'm one of those people listen do it wrong the first time ask for forgiveness let's learn from it and let's move on to the next exactly. thing exactly and he was so afraid to make a mistake that it irked me mm. And that was the thing. And like I said, to me, with the things that I have for him to do, there is no mistake that is too big that cannot be that cannot be remedied. Right. And I think that was the issue where he did not understand that there wasn't a mistake that he could make that could really end the Angela Denise Foundation. So otherwise, y'all like, man, push the button, bro. Like push right. it. Because like you like. Shay's got this famous saying say, that says you can't break it. You can't break it. You can't break this. So I'm not gonna right. I'm not gonna put you in a, and learn from it. Shay, right. I'm, I'm not gonna put you in a position if I know how I am as a as an overseer. I'm not gonna put you in a position, or I'm not gonna hand you a task that you would that you would really mess up and cause the whole house to fall down. I'm not gonna do that. I'm somebody that I'm going to delegate to a, to a level of where you can't break it. Right. And that's, that's something I always tell people, listen, dude, you can't break it. So that's how I've always kind of led, even in corporate America, <laughs> I'm going to give you enough. Look at what Joanne said. Joanne, you ain't going to pick on me tonight. Joanne said, see, Joanne said, see, she was about to let him go. Joanne. And I, but that Joanne, was always was, internal conversation. Holy, holy shit, Joanne, that that guy was one day from getting it right, cause it yeah. like it became on a Friday, and she was like, "Babe, I told you last week. I told you the week before." She said, "Derek, if this guy don't like get it, like Derek, he too timid, and Derek, if he don't yeah. get it by Monday, Tuesday, dog, like he out of here." And I don't know what he did that Monday, but she said, "Derek, he got it. He got it." But but Shay also said, Derek, I'm glad I was also patient and allow him to develop yeah. into himself because Janine also said earlier, joking, you was missing that uh, uh Jillian. I was. Oh, like, that was. Yeah. Be because things were done a certain way, and watch this. They told you the cheat code, y'all. Jillian was a dat gum uh juris doctorate. doctorate. That's a big word to say. She was a lawyer. 
which means they're not afraid to research and they know how. They're going to go beyond Google. So when you tell Jillian yeah. to go find a grant that supports black women in Central Florida, and you must be born between the age of 1981 and <laughs> 2000, and, like that's what Jillian's great at. And this guy, he was scared to hit the button, y'all. But Janine Stewart, thankfully, thankfully for Shay having a little bit of patience, and that little yeah. bit of patience, y'all, was really only one or two days. It was. And honestly, Derek, and I think what it was is also the last meeting that we had on Friday because I asked him um, and I don't think I told you about this. I told him, I said, so how do you feel in this role? And you could see he got tense. And I said, listen, it is nothing that you can do that will break anything, whether it's our CRM, whether it's sending a bad email I said, whether it's applying for a grant that we get denied. I said, I could care less. The goal is that we do it. And most times when you go for a grant that's that's pretty robust, they'll have a meeting with you of why you did not meet their criteria. And I said, that doesn't bother me. I'm not asking you to land every grant you get. I said, would it be nice? Absolutely. I said, man, we'll be, I said, you'll have a raise. I said, you don't have bonuses. I said, absolutely. I said, but listen to me and hear me clear. I'm not asking for perfection. I'm asking for an attempt. You've got to attempt something before you can even say you passed or you failed, right? And the, tim the timid, that timid persona, throw it away. Because I'm not going to be that person that hollers and screams. And guys, it got so crazy, right? That one day, let me show you how the transition came from that one conversation. Break it. I don't care. Break it. I'll figure out a way to put it back together again. Right? Wow. But I know for a fact that anything that I give crying. you. Right. And my thing is anything that I give you, I know for a fact. I'm not going to give you something that will, that will terminate everything that we've worked for. Right? I'll never do that. So I told him, I said, prime example, you know, I said, don't be afraid to talk to me. Don't be afraid to text me. And I promise y'all, we had that conversation on a Thursday, Friday. He was still tiptoeing through the tulips. And that's when I told Derek, I was like, I don't know if he gonna make it. I, I just, I just don't know. And Monday morning, he says, ma'am, we need to meet. I said, how urgent is it? He says, it's not urgent, but we need to meet before the end of the day. I said, okay, no problem. He says, I'll stay late if I have to, or you let me know and I'll log back in. I said, okay, perfect. I said, nope, I'm going to make the time. I stopped what we were, Derek and I was doing. I was, we were out and I literally picked up my phone and I said, let's, let's meet. Um, we met and he said, ma'am, did you receive grant funding from blah, 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 blah last year? I said, no. He said, we have a problem. I said, so what's the problem? He says, your mailing address. Mm -hmm. Silly me decided, I'm going to show you what Shay did. Shay did this, y'all. Shay did this. We utilized a different mailing address for the Angela Denise Foundation. And it was outside of the limits of the grants that gave me money every year and do you know what we missed out on a lot of grant funding he said ma'am after re researching and i looked at this and i looked at the the portal and i saw where Look they who funded caught the mistake ladies and gentlemen somebody that she is paying five dollars an hour to run this business he caught the mistake derek i would have never changed anything because you want to know like you didn't I have wouldn't time even to know that. But look at this. Look at the difference. Jillian didn't catch it. Yeah. As much as I'm trying to compare this man to an excellent VA, neither one of us caught it. But this goes to show his area of expertise. Grants are, that's his area. That's his niche. Right? He then followed up with the next meeting and said, when do you have a full day? Cause I need my whole shift with you. 
I need the following documents. We need to confirm that the following items are complete for 2024 because we've got things to do. I say, yes, sir. That now he's got it. He's got it. Y'all, I haven't heard from Latrell at all this week. I don't even think I heard from him but once last week. Yeah. He got it now, Janine. He got it. <laughs> he he's got it. He's got um, it now. So, so again, just real quick, hey, let's do a quick room reset. Hey, just tell the people what we're talking about, where where you're kind of headed with, and just bring it back and put it on you. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm Shay Forston, co-founder of VA 101 and Digital Flow Solutions, along with Forston Consultants, where we are consultants that not only teach and train and consult on the independent living facility model that we have trademarked, but we are also your business coaches and consultants as well, where we breathe life into your entities by collaboration, right? Collaboration by bringing forth or bringing in a virtual assistant, a remote worker that can get some tasks done and completed for you and softwares and systems through digital flow solutions that can take your business to the next level in process automations and workflows. So again, 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 we are talking about how a virtual assistant saved my little sorry life in regards to um, some grants that I did not get last year based on a discrepancy um, in, in address, right? Um, not only that, but just showing how the when you when you cult when you create a culture of inclusivity with your virtual assistants, you get better outcomes. And you heard them teasing me. I'm someone that always tells other people, "Be patient, be patient." But I was ready to give somebody the axe because I felt that they were not equipped or ready to to really be bold in what I needed from them. And just a little patience, an extra week, a nice a nice what we call come to Jesus meeting and it changed the whole dynamic and now I have and always had a rock star VA I think I just intimidated him a, a little bit just a, a little bit but um again that's what we're here to talk about we're talking about how softwares and systems and virtual assistants can take your business to the next level all it takes is a little time a little sweat equity by putting in the necessary time that you need to get that virtual assistant or that system that dfs system up operational and running on their own and you literally can be uh again you, you duplicate yourself in your processes and you're able to take it to the next level in lead generation in in creating um, new workflows, being able to see what's happening that you're not seeing and, and create a workflow or an automation that works around that. So that's what we're here to talk about. Derek has always said that he's going to be a millionaire very soon because of softwares and systems and adding virtual assistants to our repertoire. So again, I'm Shay Forston. You are rocking with Forston Consultants and everybody is telling on me about my virtual assistant experience. So also guys, if you have any <laughs> questions or any concerns about what you've heard, obviously, as you guys can see, man, if you're new to us, uh, well, actually I'll start here. If you're older to us, it's nothing for you guys to see us to be super transparent. But if you're new to us, you should be almost amazed of how transparent we are and how yeah. deep the shade goes into the examples of where we mess up things, where we notice it and we get it right. Then our job is to come back and teach it to you so that you don't stumble on some of the same stuff that we did. Shay literally just took you guys through a scenario how she had the greatest as what she thought at one time yeah. virtual assistant ever that ran yeah. a nonprofit. But then that same VA actually... I won't say left us. They graduated from us because Shay encouraged right. her to go pursue the bar and become the actual lawyer that she's really is. Attorney. But Shay also, right, attorney. <laughs> Shay also showed you and was vulnerable to, 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 to show you how she was almost getting ready to let this other gentleman go. But because listening to yep. what she preaches herself, she gave this guy enough of time to what I'm going to say to grow into himself and become yeah. himself and not become Jillian. His job was to come to become the trail within the Angela Denise Foundation, not to try to fill the shoes or be Jillian. Now we laugh and we joke and we play, but I'm being serious now. His job was not to come and be Jillian. His job mm -hmm. was to come to be acting what Shay's thinking now. He's better than Jillian. And who would have ever thought Shay would, would have said that just here eight weeks ago? But here yeah. we are. 
So again, the last thing that I want to say before I give it back to Shay, I forgot to mention you all because I kept posting the VAs for, 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 at the normal price. I forgot that my team decided to extend that co-founders day sale. So if you want a virtual assistant, guys, it's actually only three forty nine. So yep. the course is included and the onboarding. So everything you need to know about VA 101 and get your own assistant, get your own Jillian, your own Latrell, your own Tara, but her name might be Jessica or Tamika or Israel. You just never know. But if you want that, that's a one-time fee for $349. This sale goes until Friday. So if you're somebody that gets paid on Friday, no problem. But to get your own assistant and we're extending that sale to Friday, it's only $349. The onboarding is included with that as well as the course. Your job is to watch the course while our team vets, trains, and endorse that VA to you. Right. Because the moment you purchase the VA, that gives our team 10 days to find it, vet it, train, and endorse the VA. But your job while you're waiting on that process is to watch that course because we're telling you what questions to ask, what to look for. Because even though our team is going to pull the cream of the crop from the pool, we still want you to kind of know what to ask during the interview process. Because unlike some companies, we don't just give you a VA. We allow you to interview kind of what we present to you. And that's usually going to be two to three VAs. Right. You're going to interview them. And that's a part of the onboarding process. So again, guys, one-time fee for $349. And that, guys, that's a no-brainer to change your life. And then at $5 an hour, I don't care if you go in with somebody else and you guys split the five bucks an hour and y'all share the VA. Whatever you want to do, you need to get a VA inside of your life yeah. and inside of your business. Because I'm sure God has put something on your heart, an ebook, a course, some kind of curriculum that you're supposed to be developing either for your church or for battered women. God has put something on your heart, but you keep finding the excuse of not having time to do it. Guys, the VA is the cheat code to it. I'm going to say one more thing, and I'm going to give it back to Shay. I used to write all my books by myself. I used to create all my courses by myself. I used to create all the curriculum by myself. Today, uh-uh, virtual assistants and these and, and this digital flow solutions. And again, virtual assistants and the software <laughs> system, digital flow solutions. So if you haven't by now, text the word CRM. So that way you can get the free gift about what is Digital Flow Solutions right? and set up a free business analysis call to talk about maybe your future business that you want or the current one that you have. And how can we intertwine a virtual assistant inside of it and Digital Flow Solutions? Because if we haven't talked about it, I'm going to say this real, real quick. The basis of Digital Flow Solutions, guys, is that we're going to build your website for only $97 and then you just pick your plan. So again, the whole gist of this CRM system slash your website, we're going to build it according to your color scheme, the way that you want it, the way that you set it up, because my yep. team's going to build it for you. And then again, remember those old cell phone plans? You just pick your plan now. So for $37 mm -hmm. or $87 or $297, and Shell going to break all of those down. But don't forget, $97, we build it. Other than the business icon, Shay, I'll tell you about that one, how that one comes mm. with a free VA and there is no setup fee. So Shay, back yeah. on you, sis. So let's, did you just call me sis? I called you sis. All right, you honey. Are, sis. <laughs> and for y'all that don't know, I'm married to Shay, y'all. So she my sister, my lover, my friend. All wait, 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 wait. Just that oh, last few seconds ago, she was my sis. Oh, Lord. So sis, hey. Sis, love a friend, all of it. That sounds Honey, a little incestuous. What does my sis? Yes, I mean, not like that, just kind of you know. <laughs> okay, you need a nap, son. Shout Look out to Derek nice, son. Shout out, shout out to Derek and Shay. Shay and I've been married y'all since 2012. I love this girl, if y'all can't tell. We do everything together, and again, we also try to change your life together. So again, whether you need a great website or you want to house the homeless and the displaced or you need a virtual assistant, that's what <laughs> Shay and I are about. Shay, back on uh, Honey, darling. Yeah, 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 yeah. My yeah. boo thing. I can't with you, y'all. You is see, you got enough, Joanne, Joanne, is that what good enough? Because Angela, <laughs> she acting like she can't be all things to me. What you think about that, Rita? <laughs> that. 
if you agree that Shay should be all things. Somebody I have to pray all things, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all, somebody help me. Do y'all see what I have to deal with? All things, Miss Stewart. Do y'all see what I have to deal with? Control. Welcome to my life. Everything. Welcome to my life. Everything. <laughs> Back on you, Miss Shay. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Anywho, people are probably asking us, how do we get? Uh, see, Janine said that's too much. Thank you, Janine. <laughs> Thank you, Janine. Thank you. Anyway, and then look, Rita said, no, not sis. <laughs> no, not sis. Thank you. Thank you, Rita. So nobody going to type in all things then. Me and Shay can't be related, y'all. It ain't like that. Come on, y'all. Anywho, back to the business. Let's get down to business. Anyway, so Derek, I know people are probably saying, how y'all go from coaches to having a VA a VA staffing agency to now y'all just, y'all y'all got a whole CRM system. Like, what is this about? Um, I like to give this, uh, um, this preface uh, to those that I know is itching in the back of your mind, right? But what happened with us is that we always take our experiences and we try to replicate those experiences to make them better for other people. So when it came to VA 101, we took our the experience we had with the company that we got our first virtual that we had um, sourced our first two virtual assistants with, and the experience was we had great. They're still with us, just so you know. Um, Hannah and Tara are still with us um, since day one, but at the same time, there were missing pieces to the process. Um, we didn't, yes, they gave us a course, but the course was very, um, didn't say much <laughs> and, and we had to really figure things out and we leaned a lot on our virtual assistants. We just thank God that we had very forthcoming, truthful, amazing virtual assistants that believed in God, that they were very, you know, structured and centered. And when they saw what we did and how we how we always advocate or just talked about their uh, what they brought to the table for us, they realized, so check this out guys, we did not build VA 101. Our team saw the need for our clients, the people that we consult to have resources as we did. And they said, Derek, I believe that this is gonna be a better, um, this is just a great way to build out what we already have and give people the same access to the opportunities that we've also had, right? So Tara built VA 101 with her own two hands and, and just literally tagged us in when she wanted structural structural uh, correction or, or, or assistance. And, and that's how VA 101 came about. Now, Digital Flow Solutions, a whole, a same thing. We went from CRM to another CRM, which was draining the bank account about five, $600 a month. Um, it was not something that we would stand behind and tell any of our clients that we coached, this is a beneficial platform for you. What we realized is that our accountant pretty much said, hey, you know, what are all these systems doing? And is there not something that can do all of this for you in one place? Like y'all are spending a lot of money on different things. And then, you know, she saw the marketing budget and she saw that we were, you know, she's in our CRM. So our, our accountant has a seat at the table and she's like, guys, this does not make sense. Can we look into something that's going to be a little bit more beneficial to, to help you expand and reach your outcomes? Right. And um, that's where Digital Flow Solutions came in. Um, we got together with our team. We did some, you know, brainstorming and we knew these are all of the systems. We had hired a developer to see if we can get this system over here to talk to this system and bring it all back around to our CRM. And that was going to cost us another $150 to $200 a month. And we were just like, okay, enough's enough. What can we build out or what can we bring to the table that will encompass everything that we need and be able to not only have it for ourselves, but do the same thing we did with VA 101. And that was give our clients that we consult access to something that is cost effective, 
gives them everything that major brands are utilizing and have and allow them to get great outcomes for their business. And that's where we got Digital Flow Solutions and VA 101. I like to give people that that overview, Derek, so they don't think we out here just putting different pots on the stove and then walking away from the stove, right? Absolutely. We work each and every one of these businesses, right, sir? And if it wasn't for these VAs, yeah. a lot of this stuff just simply, again, would it be possible? Like, we can come up with the idea, but I had no clue how to run a staffing agency from the Philippines. But guess Nor what? did you have the resources. But guess what? Tara does. Tara knows the resources and they're there, right? <laughs> no different from I didn't know how to run a digital marketing company. But thankfully for Danish, who's also really cool in this picture, Danish does. Right. So why not leverage a skill set of somebody else that enjoys what they do and you yeah. can turn it into a business? That's the whole thing for me, guys. So let me give you a little bit of my business coaching. Guys, business is all about leveraging a skill set sometimes that you don't have and finding it at a lower cost and then offering that to the public. I'm going to say that again really slowly because that's not rocket science. Sometimes good business is leveraging a skill set from somebody else so that you can run a business to satisfy your customers. No yeah. different from the Uber model. Remember we talked about the Uber model yeah. about four weeks ago? And if you've for, forgotten about it, can you imagine the day they had a meeting when they first developed Uber? And they said, you know what, guys? We're going to start a rental car company. But we're not going to buy any cars. Not a one. Some people must thought, man, that's the dumbest thing ever. And I'm just fortunate enough that I know somebody that knew somebody that was one of the first people that had the opportunity to invest in Uber. He thought it was the dumbest idea ever. <laughs> How can you start a rental car company like Hertz, like Dollar, like Enterprise, and not buy cars, Joanne? Right? So think about that. But somebody was genius enough to say, man, you know what? We don't need the cars. We need the software and the systems, and we need to leverage other people that have the cars already. Lord, have mercy. Guys, that is one of the most genius business models that I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. That you can start a business for something that you really don't provide yourself, meaning the car. You provided the software. Why do you think I keep telling you guys the way that we're going to be rich in life and well-to-do is because of VAs and softwares and systems. No more than days where we're... Really... I'm sorry? I said God first, of course. Oh, absolutely. That's always first. If you know us, that's first. So if you don't know us, I'll reorder that. God first, softwares and systems, virtual assistants. Now, if you know us, you just kind of know that's just us. But if you knew us, I don't want that to slip by y'all. But again, guys, think about that Uber model just one more time that somebody thought of the genius idea. Let's start a rental car company, but let's let other people make money from it too. Lord have mercy. See, that's what some of y'all forget about. Uber was genius enough to say, man, you know what? We're going to make money. But because we don't have the car, we're going to mm -hmm. allow them to make money too. No different from Airbnb, ladies and gentlemen. You're leveraging somebody else's house. Airbnb just owns the platform, you guys. My, my, my. For you guys to go in there and take a vacation to Orlando, Florida, and you live in Cleveland. Like, guys, think of that. That's why the HRA model with us in terms of housing the homeless, the housing referral agency, that's why it's so genius. That's why it's so genius that you can still run an ILF, but you don't have to own the property. Come guys, on, you Derek. Can rent the properties, ladies and gentlemen. And guess who can find the properties for you? These virtual assistants. They can find it on Zillow and Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace. So mm -hmm. one more time, and I'm going to land it. The Uber model for business, and I'll admit, I've been studying that model and teaching it to people in, in other ways. Don't what say that. Can... Yeah, you're I right. Don't say that. Yeah, they don't sound right, right? No. I've been noticing what Uber's done and taking note of it. And why not teach other business models from the concept of not having to own the thing, but still being able to run the business to serve yeah. your customers? Because, guys, I'm going out to find a rental house, a house that I don't own. I'm leveraging an owner that owns the place. I go out and rent it, build relationships with social workers and case managers to run my ministry. Guys, Uber is a genius. And hats off to Uber. Yeah.
Absolutely. I'll lay my plan there. Hey guys, really Land quick. Between. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, we got about I think about 14 minutes left in this room before we are technically closed. We talked a lot about virtual assistants, which now you just found out they're on sale for only $349 one time fee. The service is on sale, the not service, <laughs> right? The service of the VA. We ain't selling people, y'all. $349 and then $5 an hour. So, again, yes. if you're interested in that, let us know. Definitely go over to www.va101.co. And again, if you, have any, if you have any questions about Digital Flow Solutions, don't forget to actually go and get your free gift and also set up that free business analysis to find out how much money can you save in terms of what you're already using to run your business or your website. Because you probably can save a lot of money by coming over to Digital Flow Solution because our lowest plan, guys, is only $37. That comes with your website build out, your telephone system, which is the business line, yeah. text messaging services, and a bunch of other stuff. So go to Digital Flow solutions.net to change that out. with Wix. And again, <laughs> my name is Derek Forster. I land my plane. You guys be great. Miss Shay on you. Yeah, I love this. Miss Joanne said DFS, which is Digital Flow Solutions, definitely saved me some dollars. Glad I switched, Shay. My VA is in love with this system. I know because he be <laughs> he be texting Alex like, listen, he is a sponge. And I love that about Joanne's virtual assistant, Derek. He's taken to the platform and he's learning all of the integrations. He's learning how to do all of the automations and workflows. So Joanne's not going to have any problems. The VA's the VA's they do. Safety, so they naturally love DFS. They do. And, and watch this. Whereas you as an owner, right, as the CEO, may not be like, well, the DFS, it's all right. Do yourself a favor, especially if, if you have a VA, schedule a call with your VA. Let your yeah. VA get the understanding of what this system does and watch how it blows their mind. And again, watch how much you save from moving from wherever you're at now. And again, yeah. if you got a Wix website, come on over. Let us manage it and host it for $37 and possibly revamp it for you. So again, for the people that always ask us, well, Derek, I already have a website. And Derek, I kind of like it already. No problem. My team can mimic it. Remember, I have a Danish. You don't. Danish can mimic and code your website to be the same, but under Digital Flow Solutions to host it. So one yeah. more time, really slowly shake, because we get that one a lot. If yes. you have a website that you already are in love with and you don't want no changes, you just don't want to be under Wix no more because Wix don't give you a phone line, Wix don't give you a text messaging service, and you can't get a virtual assistant with it. Don't give so you many automations. $37, ladies and gentlemen, you can come on over at our lowest plan and we can host it. Okay, yep. Shay, back on you. Yeah, so let's let's actually talk about these real quick, Derek. Um, so what does Digital Flow Solutions have to offer? We have the Startup Savvy, excuse me, which Derek said starts at $37 a month. Um, the setup fee is a one-time fee of $97. And that helps our team to get everything up, operating, and ready to run for you. Um, that includes us getting all of the verifications necessary for your SMS capabilities. Those of you who know, know um, if you've done or used other platforms that are, you know, VO voice over um, IP, you'll see that, you know, you've got to jump through the hoops of getting that stuff certified in re the regulatory process, and it can take a arm, shoulder, ankle, and everything else. But anyway, with us, our team goes behind the scenes and we do that for you where you don't have to take the time out of your busy schedule to try and figure that out and how to do it. We do it for you again. Um, that includes this startup savvy is for that business um, or that entrepreneur that really just wants a footprint on the web. Right. Um, this allows us to do reputation manager, which, again, we will ad strongly advise any client that gets the the uh, excuse me, the startup savvy to make sure that they have a Google My Business account. Um, and that way you can automate Google Google reviews. Right. That is something that we can do with the reputation manager, as well as the chat widget. Our chat widget at Digital Flow Solutions can be you choose. Do you want it to be a live 
actual chat widget or do you want it to be one that converts over to sms so it's it's up to you we can actually make that this you know we can talk about that and you decide how you want that to operate and function but that is at no additional cost okay um that is just a part of the startup savvy plan miss call text back is one of the premium features if you are somebody that is super busy always on the go or always on the line. And let's say someone finds your information on Google and they don't uh, get a response from you or, or you get they get sent to, to voicemail. Automatically, we can create a automation that when they've called your number and you've, they've missed the call, you've missed the call, they can automatically engage in SMS communication or dialogue with you or somebody on your team, right? Giving them that, that that sense of, man, I didn't miss out, right? Or this person really didn't just make me go look for the next person that falls underneath uh, the Google, in the Google search, right? So that is something that I, I'm very excited about with this startup savvy plan. Um, and again, you get the basic features of your CRM. You get the access to being able to, um, you know, maintain all of your contacts in one place and all of that good stuff. Um, and be able to dialogue with individuals on on a you know in a in a streamlined or in one platform, so where you're not going to your Gmail or you're not going to whatever other mail, but you can literally see their SMS and their emails in one place, and you have all of their contact information again in one place. Um, Derek, the next one is our is it Inbox Innovator? The Inbox Innovator is another tier that most people that come to us from Digital Flow Solutions that have, excuse me, that has a business already set up, structured, and just looking for a little bit more robustness um, to where, you know, they know that, you know, now it's time to, if I'm going to be doing any email marketing, I don't want me, you know, I want it to look a certain way. I want it to um, respond or react a certain way. This is that uh, platform, excuse me, this is that uh subscription plan that we have for you. The Inbox Innovator, again, has opportunity management. Opportunities management allows for you to um, really see at a glance where people are in your, if you're, let's say your service or, or yeah, you're someone that has a service-based business. Um, the Opportunities Manager is great for monitoring leads that come into your system and moving them through a process that shows you, hey, this person's interested and in, let's say they're interested in, you know, the inbox innovator product. What happens is when that person enters into your system and is already pulled in from a link that says inbox innovator, it automatically gives you a dollar amount. So it shows you the projected income on those sales. If you meet, if you make those sales or move them people through that uh, opportunity, right? And close them in that opportunity. So it gives you, it's a very good sales, uh, sales tool that you can use. And, and we've got people that are not into sales, but they utilize the opportunities manager in ways that will blow your mind. They're very, very unique and they can structure it. However, you can structure it to do whatever you want it to do and still show you opportunities or even a process, right? Um, that all of your team can follow. Um, the other thing that I really, really, really enjoy about this tier, Derek, is you don't have to use your, you know, you don't have to give access through your, your Facebook uh, meta or anything like that. You can connect all of those platforms here in the social media planner. So goodbye to Hootsuite and all of those other platforms that you're utilizing. You can now utilize your your actual CRM to connect to all of your social media outlets, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, um, Google My Business. Um, what else, Derek? I think they're doing an integration it's for mounting. YouTube Shorts. Um, you know, there's so many different things that you can do. You don't have to just schedule posts. You can schedule reels. You can schedule stories. And you can literally, you know, have your virtual assistant work for one week straight on creating content. And they can upload that content into your system and have it going out on clock as, as like clockwork where you don't have to um, pay any additional fees for that. This is all a part of your phone system. 
your email, your, <laughs> your opportunities manager. If you need to, if you're someone that sells products, your sales products, all of that stuff is engulfed in this one plan. Um, again, with being able to um, have that access, schedule it. Here's one thing. Let, let me rewind. One of the things that I really enjoy about the social media planner, let's say, for instance, you have a new virtual assistant that is on your team and they're creating content and really already uploading it to the social planner. The social planner has a, a has a feature that would allow you to approve or deny anything before it posts. So your virtual assistant can go in and flip a switch and they get, then you are internally notified that, hey, there is social media that needs to be approved before it can post. So that's another safeguard that you can um, implement if need be. Um, let's go to email marketing. Derek, a lot of people um, in, in when it comes to lead generation, when it comes to um, broadcasting what you do with people that is inside of your CRM system, those customers that, or people that have showed um interest in your, your product or your service, you can now market them effectively without having to go to another external platform. And we do not limit you on the number of email marketing campaigns you send. This was one of our, uh, this is one of the things that used to bust our bubble when we had that other system. And that system used to limit us on monthly email campaigns that we could send. And that was dramatic. If we ran the birthday sales like how we usually do, we were strapped after day two. And then we had to pay about a dollar or was it 60 cents per email? So imagine what that budget looked like when you've got over three, four, five thousand people in your, C in, in your CRM that are opted in to receiving these types of messages. But with Digital Flow Solutions, we do not minimize the number of sends that you can send. Um, and again, you get the aesthetics of it. You can modify that email to look like whatever you want it to do to, to look like. It has the, the capabilities to um, have embedded video. It can have whatever you want, audio. It can take them directly to your YouTube channel. It can take them directly to a sales button. Whatever you need it to do, this is what you can do with Digital Flow Solutions. And don't talk about your calendar, Derek. You can also add your calendar. And, and that's just that's just scratching the surface. That's not everything. But now this is the one that we utilize for every one of our businesses. And that is the business icon. It starts at two, it's it starts at 297. And the reason why I say all of our plans start at that price that you see. The reason why I say that, because there are items that you can add into this. Like if you're someone that wants to utilize WhatsApp for business instead of using a regular um, phone line, we can integrate that. If you're somebody that wants your information um, synchronized across all media platforms, if you want to integrate new AI tools and features, like those are all additions that we can add to any plan that we have. Okay. So just know that there are a lot of upgrades, a lot of upgrades with this system, but the business icon is the creme de la creme. Okay. This is the platform that Derek and I, like I said, use for every one of our businesses our IMB members, our ILF Mastery Blueprint members automatically get enrolled into this plan. This is just our way of saying we greatly appreciate you all and we're setting you up to do even more than you can even imagine <laughs> when it comes to your, so your CRM system. And what this allows for you to do is to provide invoices, to um, send out proposals, estimates, contracts. All of this stuff can be done through your CRM. Goodbye to the systems that need for e-signatures. We can do it here. Goodbye to all of that other extras. You can do it here in your one set location. Um, memberships. If you're someone that has um, memberships that you, that you promote or sell, you can house them and build them here. Communities. Uh, geez, there is so much you can talk about. But the biggest thing of them all, Derek, is the workflows and the automations. The workflows and automations. And I just delivered to our, anybody that comes into DFS gets an invitation into our Telegram group 
on DFS, uh, our DFS Telegram group, where I am always sending you updates on what new plans, what new, excuse me, what new features that we have integrated into our system so that you're up to date on what can be done. But this one, Derek, there is a new workflow that came out. And if you are in the DFS group chat, you saw it today. You saw a video from my developer who showed you how to activate it if you have this plan. And that is all of your, um, exactly. Exactly. Some of y'all may know of other or may have experienced being on someone's Facebook or Instagram page. And they said, put a fire emoji in the, in the comments and you'll get access to this free blah, 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 blah. That was a specific system that we were paying for at one point in time. Matter of fact, I just canceled it today. <laughs> right, Derek? Am I being real? Or am I being real? I literally just canceled it today. And now we can do it here in DFS. And tell them so, a mini chat. Like we, you can now get rid of mini chat if that's something else that you paid yeah. for on the side, like us. So lucky for us, like Shay told you guys about two weeks ago. One I thing about DFS, it always is coming up with new things and new updates. So as we get it, we add it to you guys for like no extra cost. Yeah. So again, if you've been using mini chat, paying that extra fifteen to twenty five dollars a month, you can get rid of that now. DFS has it. So let me show you this. I'm going to give a cheat and then we can move on from this, right? Because I think I think everybody has really understands what's going on and they know that they can do amazing things with D digital flow solutions. And plus my battery is about to die on my laptop, Derek. Um, but anyway, with We're that being 730 said, mark now, so we gave the value. We've, we've right. served our time. So anything but I want to give one more gem of value. Right. And this is the gem. Imagine HRAs. To my HRAs in the building, if you are an HRA, a housing referral agent or agency, or if you are an independent living facility owner and operator, and you are utilizing digital flow solutions, imagine if in every one of the videos you post on social media, you say, put the word housing in the chat and we'll send you more information on our process. You create a workflow behind that and add that. And now guess what? People are just putting that information in there. And now you are generating leads. You are now creating a lead generation interaction that's going to bring that person because they're interested, whether if they need housing, they're a social worker, case manager, or a housing provider that's looking for you to fill their house. You can now do that with an automation working in the background that you don't have to do but build one time. I don't know if they heard me, D. I, I don't have my big mic, so I don't know if they heard me, Derek. Mm -hmm. I don't think they got it. But this is something that you can now utilize within the um, within our within Digital Flow Solutions. So. I land there. I hope we've given you, well, I know we've given you more than enough value tonight. Um, again, this is always a pleasure. Uh-oh, look. She told me I say it again, Shay. Mm -hmm. You really need me to say it again, Angela? And again, hey, and, and, and I got something even better. If you think you got it, but you think you might have missed it, on the screen right there, guys, we're giving you a free gift. So if you text the word CRM, and this is the example she was just telling you guys. It's an, it's Somebody should just do this anyway. Text the word CRM and your name to 407-809-8215. And they're going to give you a free gift as long as you do your part. And they don't need to do their name anymore. That's modified. Okay, cool. So again, guys, like receive your free gift. And again, if you think you missed something, Set up the free strategy call. That's also what that is about so that you can explain to Shay maybe what you missed or what you need her to further explain. And even better, if you have a business or you're thinking of a business, right. bring that to the appointment. Because that's what Shay and Alex is really good at is dissecting your business and see how can we intertwine digital flow solutions and or virtual assistant inside of it. Ms. Shay, yep. back on you. Yeah, so here we go. Um, I'm going to repeat it one more time for Angela because, my, like I said, I got about a good three minutes before my computer shuts off on y'all. Anyway, um, for the uh, automation uh, integration on comments, Facebook and Instagram comments. And also, I didn't state this, but Derek, all Facebook and Instagram comments, chats, 
do integrate into Digital Flow Solutions and they do fall under the conversations tab. So if a person is in your CRM and they uh, and you want to connect them um, based on their social media as well, you can literally combine all of that information into their contact and you can keep uh, a running dialogue between all of their different systems that they're interacting or engaging with you in. Um, when it comes to what I just spoke about, Angela, we've been using a system that would allow us to say, and you've you've seen this system before, Angela. Um, that would you can put a fire put a fire emoji in the chat if you want our update or or you want a free gift. That's something you can prompt it to do. That's the trigger, and that's gonna not ch chat in the comments. That will be the trigger, and you can now create a workflow or automation to literally carry out the the action. And then even attach that person into a, a, a funnel, an email marketing funnel, a campaign, whatever it is you want to do to keep that person engaged or involved in gathering or receiving information from your business. So that is what we're able to do. And that was a new release. So if you are not in Digital Flow Solutions community and you have Digital Flow Solutions, you need to get your butt in there. Because I will be putting all of the new updates and as well as Danish worked very hard today creating a video for you all to share with your, well, your virtual assistants are in the group as well. So they are able to see how it works and how to integrate it into your system. That is what we do at V, excuse me, at Digital Flow Solutions. Not only are we giving you access to a thing, but we're also, if you do get the $297 a month plan, we give you, uh, we vet a virtual assistant for you and they are trained on this system by our team and they help you get the best out of this system to get your business and take your business to the next level. So, that so answers, Derek, with that question. being said, yep. I'm done. Angela, that answers your other question, what Shay just said. So yes, the VAs are trained to use this system. That's the greatest part about it because what's, what's really cool is that you actually never have to learn it because guys, I'll be honest, I know what this system can do, but do I actually know how to run it? No. And I'll be honest, I don't have to because I got a team that does, and my VAs love it. You heard what Joanne told you earlier. Her VA loves this system. And that's why I'm telling you all, especially for you all that already have a VA, if you have a VA but you don't have Digital Flow Solutions, set your meeting up with your VA. You guys should never have meetings with us without your VA. That's your assistant. That's your team member. So whether you're meeting with me about ILF stuff, so that even means you ILF people. When we're meeting one-on-one -on -one about ILF, you should be just sitting there and listening to me with your hands folded. Your VA should be in the meeting taking notes of everything that we're talking about because I'm also going to have it recorded. But your focus should be on me and you talking while your VA is also taking notes and listening and learning together. So again, guys, don't forget the VAs are on sale until Friday. The service is on sale for $349. And again, it's only five bucks an hour with a minimum of six hours a day. So definitely visit www.va101.co, not .com, but .co. And also, if you want to be an affiliate and you want to offer these VAs to other people, you can also do that at the same website at www.va101.co. Click that link that says become an affiliate and you can sell this service just like you own the business literally just by coming an affiliate. So again, thank y'all so much for being here. We are super grateful to our Instagram folks, our Clubhouse folks, Facebook and YouTube. Thank y'all so much. And again, we look forward to you guys getting on our calendar because guess what? It's all automated once you do this. So we look forward to automating you to our calendar the way we can have a real conversation with Shay and Alex and our team, Danish, of how we can either build your website, make your website or CRM system better or how can we brainstorm your next newest invention or idea and get it off the ground with the help of digitalflowsolutions.net? Guys, my name is Derek Forston. I land my plane. Ms. Shea, give your salutation and pray us out of here. You might want to pray because I'm, I'm my phone's my I'm done. Absolutely. Well, guys, thank y'all so much. The next time that we're live back in this room is going to be on what is it, Saturday at 10 a.m. But also, just in case if you've fallen in love with the concept of housing the homeless and the displaced, um, we have a free Facebook group by, by the name of the ILF Academy. So if you haven't joined that, 
definitely join the free Facebook group, the ILF Academy, where we'll be going deeper and deeper and further into the beginnings of how do you start an ILF? So a lot of our newer people are joining that. So I'll be doing a lot of our core teachings from the beginning. So again, if you're interested in housing the homeless, the displaced, or anybody that has a guaranteed income, definitely join our free Facebook group over at the ILF Academy. And other than that, now unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly above all you can ever ask or think according to his power that worketh in us. You guys be great. Don't wait to be great. And we'll see you Saturday at 10 a.m. And don't forget to join the free Facebook group, the ILF Academy on Facebook. We figured out your problem. You have a great business or a great business idea. You just don't have a website. So visit digitalflowsolutions.net and get the best website in the world for only $97. And then you just pick your monthly plan. Let's get back to the content.